So life be life and right. <laughs> Today is your day. Get them, Holy Ghost. I'm going to teach y'all how to fight back. Truth be told, many of us don't know how to fight. Yes, yeah, some of y'all know how to fight when they come in the street. I remember my cousins, you know, when they used to fight back in the day. They had to fight somebody. They would tie their hair up, get some Vaseline so they ain't slippery. I mean, so they are slippery, so they can't grab them. Sometimes they might take their shoes off, and it was on and popping. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But how do you fight when life be life -ing? So for the first five minutes of this video, I'm going to give you scripture. Because I have to perform spiritual surgery on you. Let's get to the word. Psalms 40 and 1. And now, New King James Version. I've waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to my ear and heard my cry. Verse 2, he also brought me up out of the horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. Because many of us, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean out to your understanding, and all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Many of us unintentionally are leaning on our own understanding, based off of what we see, based off of what we feel, even based off of facts. Exodus 14 and 14, the Lord will fight for you. You shall hold your peace. That's your peace of mind. Do we even know how to do that? Some of them have put quotes up and said, Lord, I haven't even gotten over this death. My heart can't take another one. First Timothy 6 and 12, New King James Version, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you also called and have confessed a good confession in the presence of many witnesses. But how do we fight the good fight of faith? Hebrews 11 and 1, New King James Version. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 6, New King James Version. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must, be, must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So as long as you keep coming to God, God's going to reward you. 1 Timothy 4. 6 through 10 message version you have been raised on the message of the faith and have followed sound teaching now pass on this counsel to the followers of jesus there and you will be a good servant of jesus stay clear of silly stories that get dressed up as religion exercise daily in god no spiritual flabbiness please workouts in the gymnasium are useful but a disciplined life in god is far more so making you fit both today and forever you can count on this take it to heart this is why we've thrown ourselves into the venture so totally we are banking on the living god say you're of all men and women especially believers like silly stories like oh just stay prayed up so you're just not gonna put on your armor that's the only thing you're gonna do is just pray because see the enemy will attack where there is no armor First Corinthians 9, 24 and 27 NLT. Don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for eternal prize. Verse 26. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself be disqualified. See, these are things that God has taught me that I've done myself that I'm going to teach you. One of my favorite scriptures, Isaiah 26 and 3, it says, I will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So as long as we keep our mind stayed on him, he going to keep us in perfect peace. How many of y'all would love to have perfect peace in y'all situation right now? How many of y'all would love to have perfect peace when life be life in? Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Many of us have asked God for stronger shoulders and he wants us to lay aside the weight of life. We hear let go and let God, but what does that even look like? How do we even do that? Verse 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, for who for the joy that was set before him and endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The author has a book that he wants us to read daily, not just you read one scripture that comes on your phone. I mean, that's good. But our peace of mind needs a lot more than that. Hebrews 4 and 12, New King James Version. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the division of the soul and spirit and the joints of marrow and the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The scripture is like spiritual medicine, even in surgery. The surgeon performs it. 
it's needed. And that's what God just did. Joshua 1 and 8, New King James Version. The book of law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your, prosper, your way prosperous and you will have good success. We know that the scripture says you, we have faith of a mustard seed, right? But did you know that every seed must grow? And I want you to understand something, that your faith is so powerful, right? That wherever you put it, it will grow. Put your faith in doubt, it'll grow. Put your faith in worry, it'll grow. Put your faith in what it may look like or what it may seem or what it feels like, it'll grow. That's why we have to put our faith in the word. Because when we focus on, the scripture tells us for we walk by faith and not by sight. Because if we walk by sight, watch this, we begin to constrict our faith or choke it out. Scripture tells us to wait on the Lord, be of good courage, right? Take good heart. It says wait on the Lord. But what do we do? How do we wait on the Lord? Do we wait in worry or do we wait in worship? Do we wait in the world or do we wait in his word? Do we wait in the problem or do we wait in his promise? Because a lot of us are spiritually overweight. W-A-I-T, not W-E-I-G-H-T. But how do we meditate on it day and night? I remember my mom used to listen to uh, gospel music and listen to the song over and over again. I used to be like, why should she keep doing that? This is, I don't want to hear that. And I remember I just ended up doing that, right? And what God taught me was when we listen to a song over and over again, it begins to saturate our mind. You can do this even while you're sleeping. So we can listen to a song so much, watch this, that we automatically will overwrite any thoughts that's trying to come in. You ever be listening to a song and then all of a sudden later on, you, that song just come out of nowhere? Because the Bible tells us to punish our thoughts. But many of us don't know how to do that. The other thing which you can do is Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, everything else shall be added unto you. That means that you have to spend time with God first. And even with me, you know, I remember having the kids and sometimes you might miss your alarm clock or you wake up, you got to hurry up and get them to school, right? I would read right before I go to bed. The scripture talks about a husband supposed to wash his wife with the word. So if the husband can do that, don't you think we can wash our minds with the word? Because these scriptures that you hear, this is medicine for your situation. Write them down. Listen to this video over and over again. Even if you at work. If you need to take a break, I remember working with people who used to smoke cigarettes. They'd be like, man, I need a smoke break. What if you need a praise break, a prayer break, a read your word break, go in the bathroom, spend five minutes with, with God. Matthew 17, 21 says, some kind only come out by fasting and praying. You can fast and pray concerning anything, any energy, any unclean spirit or demon, like the spirit of depression, anxiety, worry panic attacks anything you can think of for example imagine if you go to work and you have a bad day right and you just get a bad feeling or something like that go home in the shower you know put on some worship music because we want the anointing to come inside of us right you also can talk to somebody that's anointing because it says in isaiah 10 and 27 it says the anointing destroys the yoke the bible tells us to seek wise counsel another one putting oil on yourself putting oil on yourself daily we have to feed our faith but what are you feeding your faith just like a child right you know how a child gets hurt they just want to be closer to their parent that's what god is saying see everything that happens us doesn't feel so good is designed to bring us closer to god and not away from god remember he said he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him that's why we always call children of god Remember, because the child just wanted to be closer to their parent. They just wanted to feel better. And if you agree with this message, type, Lord, thank you for showing me how to fight. Now, if you stayed this long, make sure you tune in for part two. Because that's the other part of this. I'm going to teach you how to continue fighting. You see, I even talked to people that was older than me, been in God longer than I've been alive. Almost like a mother figure or a father figure. And I had to literally give them encouragement upon me telling them what I was going through. They was like, I don't know how you do this. I don't know how you make it. I like guess because of God. But I remember one day that God, if you real, because I went to church all my life, I want to see these scriptures come alive. I want to see, can I have this perfect peace that passes all understanding? Your perfect peace. He showed me how to do that. And now I'm showing you. So be looking out for part two. It's time to take your peace of mind back.
regardless of whether life be life in.